All right, thank you, Miles. New tonight at 10. In 2019, a 23-year-old woman gave birth successfully but later bled to death. The baby boy was declared brain dead and didn't survive either. Now there's a Bakersfield family call to action online in hopes the medical board will revoke the doctor's license. Elizabeth Christian has that story. And then to die because of negligence, you know, that's just not right. It's unfair. I don't want no family to go through this. Demi Dominguez lost her life unexpectedly after going to the doctor's office to check on her swelling. Never once were we informed on anything about in the medical board. It wasn't on the site and it wasn't we found this out by our own researching. The Mercy Southwest doctor had many cases of patient injuries and even an infant death almost two decades ago, according to Consumer Watchdog. Demi's mom says in her case, her concerns were brushed off by the doctor and she fears for other expectant mothers under this doctor's care. I have a lot of flashbacks from it. Um, you know, I could still hear her voice. I could still hear, you know, the people in the, the ER running around and saying what they were saying. It's a tragedy that will never be forgotten, and now a tragedy the family hopes will bring change. My daughter back, and it's not going to be Malachi, but it's going to prevent other women. It's going to prevent other women to know, that have the right to know what their doctors are being accused of. Now, the online call to action posted by Consumer Watchdog has a lot of attention from families all over Bakersfield. There should be about a thousand emails sent from Bakersfield families to Senator Grove and Senator Hurtado, and we're asking them to intervene and step in with a medical board and hold them accountable for the deaths and the harm of um, and injuries to. Bakersfield mothers and babies. According to Consumer Watchdog, the doctor in question is a repeat offender who has been practicing even following the death of Dominguez and her son. He was only expecting probation starting this month. The families involved, you know, don't know how many how many women and how many babies are going to have to die before the medical board steps in and protects patients in Bakersfield. Reporting in Bakersfield, Elizabeth Christian, Eyewitness News.